Miner here, and this is Daisy. Together, we found this rock at an abandoned silver mine. The detector says it's got silver. Right there, there's a little piece of silver sticking out. I see calcite, which means we can etch it. See the green stain down through here? That's nickel or nickelene. The oxidation of it. Normally I would slice a rock like this, but today we're going to put this in pool grade hydrochloric acid or HCl, also known as muriatic acid. And try to dissolve away the calcite. Come join me, we're going to have some fun. Let's see if that's the right rock. Come to Papa. There we go. There we go. Is that it? Doesn't look like much. Whatever it is, it's still in the hole. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Right down. Bunged up with roots, rocks, dirt. I'm getting really curious as to what's down there. The rock is about three quarters of a pound. In this jar right now is clean water. And then we add the muriatic. So this is interesting. The solution has gone yellow, which is the nicolene being affected. My guess is there's more nickel in the rock than I had first realized. It's getting difficult to see anything. What I may be able to do is move it closer so we can see what's going on. There we go. Interesting, it's been about a half hour. And some of the metal is very dark. I see some little dots of silver on the black. I've not seen a lot of shiny. We'll let it continue running and see what happens. It's been a while now, a couple hours. There's still calcite to dissolve. So we'll let this continue bubbling. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Let's take it out gently. Rinse it off. And then inspect it. So this rock is now just over half a pound. There's the rock. Little blades of silver sticking out. Really shows what the metal looked like inside. Quite a bit of silver, but I think the dark, especially where it's bubbly, is perhaps some arsenic and cobalt. And then, of course, nickel. It's like a little Christmas tree.
I'd like to try something with a little torch to see what happens when we put the flame on the rock. One little problem with these torches, this is the Tech Torch Auto Start by Ronson. There's a recall on it, so hopefully I don't blow myself up. Well, according to the website, the problem is with the trigger, that sometimes the flame doesn't turn out when it's released. So I think I can work around that for now. The button behind is the lock. Really? Yeah. This torch, at its highest setting, is supposed to get to 1400 degrees Celsius. That's more than enough to melt arsenic, which is about 860, silver, which is 960, but not enough to melt nickel or cobalt, which are just over 1400. Let's see what happens. I'm really curious. Sacrifice the one rock for the sake of the video. Let's go. Oh yeah, just melt the silver. in one spot. Certainly don't want to be those fields. Big Canadian mosquito. <laughs> we call these bugs a.k.a. crane flies. They drink nectar and don't really eat mosquitoes. Here's my rock. The torch melted the thin veins of silver. It also seemed to remove some of the black oxides. Mosquito eater. Like silver. You like. jealous because it looks like I have a new buddy. I hope you enjoyed this project. I had fun. Thank you so much for watching. The adventures continue. Bye for now. Keep well.